Okay, we're being asked to find the values of x for which this function has a horizontal tangent line. Uh, I forgot to write something, so I'll write it uh, n 0 to pi. So that's, that's going to be our interval. All right, solution. So to find the values of x for which the function has a horizontal tangent line, we have to think, right? Um, what is a derivative? A derivative is a slope. It's the slope of the tangent line. So our function is going to have a horizontal tangent line uh, when the derivative is 0 because horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So all we do, all we do is take the derivative and set it equal to 0. So the derivative of the square root of 3 times x is the square root of 3. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine, so you just get negative 2 sine x. And you set this equal to 0. If you solve this for sine x, we subtract the square root of 3, so we get negative 2 sine x equals negative square root of 3. And then so sine x is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And that means that x is pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. Those are the only two values uh, in, in this interval for which that's true. If you're confused with that, just uh, think of it this way. Well, uh, pi over 3 is here. Right? Pi over 3 is here. And then you need to ask yourself, is there another value of sine, another, another angle, uh, for which the sine of that angle is um, square root of 3 over 2? Well, yeah, over here. Right? How do you know it's over here? Well, the, the sine function is the y-coordinate on the unit circle, so the y-coordinate is positive here. So that other angle is right here, right? 2 pi over 3. I hope this helps someone out there.